for the best FIFA 17 tips, check out FIFASolve.com. Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Solved. So today I've got the ultimate high pressure custom tactic tutorial. Um, in it I'm going to be explaining everything you need to know, including the pla exact, exact players you need to use, the player instructions, vitally important, and obviously the custom, the ultimate custom tactic. I've been tweaking this guys, I tell you, and I've been researching it and uh, testing it, tried and tested, and I've got the ultimate um, high pressure custom tactic uh, tutorial coming up for you. Um, and then I'm going to go into some gameplay clips and show you this high pressure in action. So the first thing, the players that you need to use, this is extremely important. So as for the centre backs, you can use any centre backs you want. But obviously the left back I've gone with here, James Milner, he's got um, high and high, so he's got engine. You want high and high players, defensive work rate high, uh, attack and work rate high. And, then, and he's got 99 stamina. You want stamina players, guys. That is what you want to last the full 90 minutes and even if it goes into extra time, James Milner's still in the green. James Milner at left back, uh, Coleman's got an um, engine, because he's got high and high, and he's also got 90 stamina. Seamus Coleman at right back, I would say. Um, I've gone for Deli Alley, obviously I've got him, and it was just a coincidence, but he's, he's perfect. He's got 97 stamina, this um, uh, player of the month. But there's some other players you can use, like Kante and you know, Yaya Torre, players with high stamina. Coutinho probably isn't the best, uh, Dembele might be... All right there, but Coutinho did the job for me. You know, he's got a bit of flair, and he's quite good at tackling and cutting the passing lanes and doing the high pressure. You know, he's a Liverpool player after all. Um, Alexis Sanchez, obviously, he's got high and high. He's got high stamina as well. I think it's like 85 or 88 stamina, so he's very good at this. Uh, Jesus has got 99, no, 98 stamina, sorry. He lasts the full uh, 120 minutes, even if it goes into extra time. It's insane. Uh, Jay Kakos updated card's got 85 stamina. You know, you could go with Vardy here. Loads of different strikers have got high and high. Kane's got high and high. There's loads of strikers for you guys. There really is Musa. High and high. As for the right mid, De La Feo did it. He really did it. I tell you, I don't know why he hasn't got any of the attributes you need for this. I would go for Mikatarian, who's got high and high. The most ideal player is Willian, because he's got high and high and engine. He's got one hell of an engine on him. He'll last 90 minutes. But De La Feo did it for me. So that's the players you want to use, guys. Obviously, I, I glitched Sanchez on at half time for Coutinho, and he's absolutely insane. High and high, he's got engine, and his stamina's like 92 or something. It's, it's mental. Um, that's the players you want to use. So now onto the instructions. So for the centre backs, I put stay back while attacking and aggressive interceptions. For the right back, I have aggressive interceptions and balanced attack. You have to use these instructions. Don't change or tweak anything in this tutorial because you, you, it will go wrong. I'm telling you. Get the right players, use these instructions, and use the custom tactic. I'm telling you. As for the left back, normal interceptions, not aggressive like the right back. Stay back while attacking. Um, for Sanchez, normal interceptions again, so this, they're not going to come out, they're going to keep their shape and it's going to surprise the opponent. Um, for the right side, um, I have normal interceptions obviously with the right mid, but aggressive with the right back. Um, aggressive interceptions with both of the centre mids, I would use 4-4-2 flat, um, I would honestly go with this formation, it's worked a treat for me. In so many different um, types of play that I play, I, I can use this type of play, the high pressure but also my own personal custom tactic that I use that I might do a tutorial on if any of you are interested in. It's the ultimate custom tactic in my opinion. I use 4-4-2 flat. I think it's the best formation. It's old school and I know exactly where my players are on the pitch and you've got triangles all around the pitch. You can just do triangles. It's, it's phenomenal. And as for the, um, the front two, you want press back line there, down the bottom there. You don't want any of that cut pass lanes. You want press back line for both of them. Okay? <clears throat> so now on to the actual custom tactic what you've all been waiting for so the build-up play this is the only one i would say in the whole thing that is optional it's the only thing it's just my personal style of play i like to play fast play so i have it in 92 because i i can do one touch passing without even touching the ball just one touch passing bish bash bosh and um, really play the, the ball forward at a fast pace with you if you're a slower passer and you like to take your time but the, the high pressure coexists with that, doesn't it? It's all fast and it's all hordes of, of players running forward and all taking the, the, the defensive team out. And um, I think you've got to be play it all fast and, and have a really quick counter-attack. So I would probably edge towards using a higher speed with this, though, guys, I would say. Speed, you uh, with the passing, you want at 50. It's the magic number. Um, absolutely, with both of these um, positioning, you do not want free roam. I think I put free roam last year. It worked on FIFA 16 with the high pressure custom tactic. This year, you want them organised. That is absolutely pivotal, guys. I'm not joking. You want organised. 
passing again is at 50. You just want the passing to be sort of standard, not short, not long, you just want it at 50, okay? For both of them, that's really easy to remember. As for the crossing, you want that at 72. This is so players, when you do cross it, and, and you might win the, the, the pressure high up the pitch for the wingers, you're gonna have players in the box. You're gonna have everyone in the box. When you win it high up the pitch, you want options, right guys? You want options in, in, in the middle, you want them everywhere, and you want crossing at 72, trust me. Don't change this from anything, any of these settings, because I've tweaked them, and I've lost games, and I've, I've crumbled, and, and it's not gone wrong, and it's gone right, and it's, it's needed a bit more tweaking, and this is the absolute perfect numbers, guys, I'm not joking. As for the shooting, you want that at 80, and that's for the same reason as a crossing. When you win the ball high up the pitch, you want um, players in shooting positions, and you want uh, loads of options in the final third, so then you absolutely take the, the, you know, the game to the opponent and destroy him. As for the positioning, organised, like I just said, you want both of these at organised, not free roam anymore. And you don't want free roam on any of the play instructions, you notice I didn't tell you as well. <clears throat> as for the pressure, this is the magic number. I've tried it at 85, I've tried it at 90, I've tried it at uh, 100, and the magic number is 97, guys. You want your, your pressure at 97, and that is absolutely perfect. Don't ask me why, it just is with the, the test testing that I've been and doing and the researching. As for the aggression, <clears throat> you want that at 93. Again, I've tweaked this, I've put up to 100, I've had it at 80, I've had it at 70, I've had it at 75. I've tweaked it all, and 97 and 93 is the magic number. That is the one you want to use. Team width, this is very important. You want that at 60. Why? Because I'm going to have two tutorials coming up for you later in the year. I'm going to try and do them as quickly as possible. I'm going to tell you, have one that's coincides with this as to how to play with high pressure, how to use it, right? And I'm also gonna do a tutorial on how to combat high pressure, how to beat it. And it's about this. The way you beat high pressure pretty much, guys, is the wingers, okay? And um, your wingers are gonna be, the opposition wingers are gonna be your undoing, okay? They're gonna, they're gonna try and get them and they're gonna be free a lot. So you need to flick that right stick and mark the wingers. That's pretty much all you have to do with the, custom, uh, with the high pressure and hold RB down to do teammate control and you're sorted, you are laughing. Because the wingers are the things that will be, the players that will be undoing you. And if you have your team width at 60, it's not too compact in the middle. I know the middle's great to win the ball and they'll, they'll be a nightmare, but when they spread the play, and trust me, players do try to combat this, they do spread the play from one end of the wing to the other wing, It'll be completely free, and uh, it won't if you have team width at 60. They'll, they'll be slightly, they won't be too far apart from the middle, but they also won't be compact in the middle. It is absolutely perfect, guys. This almost makes the custom tactic. It is, it is phenomenal. And the wingers, they will be marked this time round with, with the team width at 60. So put that on 60. And as for the defensive line, if you want to lose loads of football matches, put on cover. If you want to win loads of football matches, put on offside trap. Why? Because if you have cover, you'll have one defender out of the halfway line that will play the Albamiangs and the Vardis of this world onside and you'll be history. It's your funeral. But if you have an offside trap, they're always offside. Or they just can't play the ball, quite play the ball. And um, trust me, offside trap is the one for this. So guys, I'm going to go into some gameplay clips now, talk about the play that uh, you're about to see and... Um, show you this in action. So guys, with this first uh, clip that I'm going to show you, I'm just going to talk through all of these clips. I'm going to have a proper tutorial. This is Roberto Carlos on the ball uh, now. Uh, sliding is very important with the high pressure. You have to do um, sliding tackles. But watch this with De La Faro. This is what I'm talking about. You need to put, a, he's putting a marker down on the game. Yes, I foul him, I give away a free kick, but you have to be aggressive. Remember that aggression at like 93? And look, De La Faro, he really did do the job. That's against Roberto Carlos, legend card. And here again, I think I give away a foul. Yes, but I'm putting a marker down on the game. I'm showing that you're not going to have any time on the ball, buddy. I'm going to get in your face. And look, you'll notice throughout this, these, these clips that I'm showing you that um, when they take the quick free kick, they don't ever pull it off. Um, Roberto Carlos giving the ball away again there, me intercepting. You've got to hold that RB button down or R1 on PlayStation for the teammate control. It's vitally important um, for teammate control. Here with the winger, watch me run with him. See, I'm running with a winger and I'm holding RB. For the, and I come in with a challenge because the computer could handle the player that was on the ball and I'm running with a runner because that's how you beat high pressure. He would have been free otherwise. You've got to run with the runners. But that team width allows me to be close to the runner in the first place at the 60 width in the, in the custom tactics that I showed you. Um, so you'll see me give a, the ball away a lot in this, but you, you win the ball back more than you lose it. And um, there's another sliding tackle with Bayer Bayer that went out for a goal kick. As I said, you need to use sliding tackles with high pressure. You absolutely need to. Um, 
because um, it's just it works with high pressure. You normally get the ball all the time and you never give away a free kick. It's mad. Well, more often than not, you don't. There, sign tackle again. I win the ball back. Do a burger spin. I lose the ball. I win it back in a second. There you go again with Bailly. I know I'm going to win, back, win it back in a second because I always do with this high pressure. You might lose it, but then you, you, you'll gain it back more times than you lose it. They're coming in. He's just surrounded by too many bodies. you, you just got bodies everywhere. They've got no time in the ball. You'll see a few clips in this... Uh, Tutorial in, this, in, these, in these clips now, where uh, they, they, they're just even with Carlos and everyone, look at me, hack him again. He's, 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 they rush their play almost. He's trying to pass it about here, and he just gets desperate in the end. He, he, he times his pass wrong and he rushes his play almost. And um, here, slide and tackle again. See how the slide and tackles are so effective. Quick free kick didn't work. I, I got the ball back. They just the quick free kick doesn't work, and I think it's because of that aggression at 93. It's just about right, and the aggressive interceptions as well. That's why they can't do the quick free kick. Here, come down. Look at how many numbers around him. He had three on him then when he lost the ball. That bloke feels sorry for him. This epitomizes it. Here, the goalkeeper's telling him to push up. I zoom it in here because he was getting sick of trying to play out from the back and me getting the ball. So he can't win as well. Because watch this. I pause this in a second. How many options have I got here? One, two, three, four in the final third, guys. Four options. In the final third, I pause it here. How many options I've got now? Six. I've got six options. You saw more players break up, and look, it results in the goal. He thought he could try and boot up the pitch, and he still can't win. Plays it short, he can't win because of high pressure. Tries to boot it long, can't win. I score. That epitomises the high pressure and how effective this uh, custom tactic, uh, these custom tactics are. Um, it's, it's an absolute joke. I really enjoyed that clip. Here he's rushing his play. Look at that. It's about to go out for a play. He just um, he, he doesn't have an answer for it. Here I retrieved the ball. He, he just got outrun. I give the ball away. Then I win it back. Half a second yet later. Not even a second later. I lose the ball again. I'm about to win it any second now. And I am. There we go. Because you always win it back. And then I, I might give it away again in a second. I think I do a, a Berber spin here. Yeah, I give it away. And then I win it back. Moments later. Here, look at him rush his play. He doesn't have a clue how to combat this. He's trying, he's going down the wings. He knows that that's probably the way forward. Not with this custom tactic. And I come in with a slide and tackle. And the slide and tackle is how I got the ball back. I lose it again here. Win it back a millisecond later. Dale De Lefeo's got, now got a chance. I have a shot. I did try to do the right thing. Sweat it and try and header it in. It falls to De Lefeo for a chance. And that was a very unlucky. Um, here, quick free kick. No, not with the aggression at 93 and aggressive interceptions. All right, I give the ball away. But I could win it back one second later. This is what it does. It's crazy. You're going to absolutely love this. If high pressure is the way you want to go, then this is the way. It's line tackle again. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to play with high pressure in a tutorial later in the year. And I'm also going to teach you how to combat it. So um, stay tuned for them tutorials. They will be coming out. And I'll have more uh, custom tactic tutorials uh, coming up for you as well, guys. Um, tick attacker one again. And um, my own personal one, if, if that's what you want to actually see, which I think is the best this year. Um, What's happening here? Just come in like a monster. Just it's just hordes of players coming forward in numbers and and uh, absolutely destroying the opponent. We've given him no time in the ball, rushing his play, and no options on the ball for him. Every player's marked. It's it's crazy. So hey guys, yeah, that's it. That is the high pressure custom tactic solved. Um, as I said, I'll have more custom tactic tutorials up for you soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Follow me on Twitter. That's the f fastest way to get the most quickest response. Um, at FIFA Solved, and uh, I'll have another tutorial up for you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.